basically the static dial started out of the desire to uh, get a band going around my acoustic guitar vocal demos um, and make it into something full and uh, and interact with other musicians and bounce off of their ideas and and get um, get that whole experience when you get a bunch of guys in a room and um, you know the creative flow is in full full form. Um, Josh has been in the band for about six months or so. Uh, Traps has been in the band for about a year now. Um, I had done some stuff before with some other guys. Um, great stuff, great musicians, but I was always looking for a permanent band. Um, from a creative point of view, clicking, but also from a personal point point of view. And uh, and I, I couldn't really say anything other than the best for both of these guys. You know, I, I, we we definitely have we have different personalities, but they I think they blend really nicely together. And, Time has only made it stronger and uh, and better, and and the stuff that's coming out now is uh, is definitely pushing me as a songwriter and um, and as a musician to, to try new things and to, to really uh, make some kind of a, a stamp of something that's exciting and um, and interesting. want to get down to business and uh, get new material going there's it's t kind of twofold on one hand I might have a basic demo or a basic idea that I send to these guys and we play off of that and that might kind of get the spark going get the get the, the flow going but then there's the other side of it where we're in a room and we're, we're jamming on parts and that'll automatically change the song and change the arrangement and one of the things with this band is uh, I think everybody there's a song and, and that's the basis of it, but everybody's into being a player. You know, everybody's into uh, different, you know, fusion music and um, and stuff that pushes you as a musician in general. Um, whether it be compositional music or free jazz or uh, just any atmospheric different kind of thing. Anything that's going to challenge us, we're, we embrace it. And that's the best part about this band is, you know, we're not limited to just say indie rock you know I don't even think you can call us that at this point you know there's so many genres Bill presents us usually with some sort of you know basic song and then it just kind of builds from there and we just listen to each other you know I'll listen to them and what they're doing and just let it bring out of me whatever it does you know and if Bill has a suggestion or Josh does you know we just uh, listen to that and try to make it feel as good as possible and uh, uh, that's that's basically it. I mean, we just got we just listen to each other. Really, is is what happens. Really, now it feels like a band, you know. Um, and it, it took a while to find the right elements, you know. It's funny how things work and how you meet people and how things come together. But it just happened this way, and uh, it it just fell into place so naturally. I don't think we could ever, even if we wanted to, we're we're not capable of being complacent. It's just not in our nature, you know. Um, you know, that's the thing, like, if, if you're going to go down that road and be complacent, that's, that's your choice. But for me, I could never be happy. I need to wake up every morning excited that the next thing I'm going to do is going to blow away the thing I did before. Or at the very least, it's going to challenge challenge me and challenge the listener. So um, I think that's something that, that we all definitely um, are excited about, uh, especially with the new album. I think we're going so many different directions, but it's something that it's starting to become more and more a uniform identity, and I'm excited.